Hello everyone and welcome back to Humble Heart Horsemanship. My name is Sabrina, this is my horse Gemini, and in today's video you'll learn how to teach your horse to ground tie. If you don't know already, ground tying is basically when you teach your horse that when you drop the reins or the lead rope on the ground that they should stay there unless you tell them to move otherwise. Ground tying teaches your horse patience how to stand still when tied and can be very helpful in teaching your horse to listen to your commands and to be obedient. It's also a really useful skill to have your horse learn because you know, say you're out on the trail or say you're just working with your horse and maybe you need to grab something or maybe you need to dismount off your horse and do something. There may not always be a place where you can tie your horse up. So if your horse learns that when you drop the reins or the lead rope on the ground and tell them a command to stay, they'll stay there. And it can be so convenient during those times when you can't tie up your horse or maybe you just don't want to. Teaching your horse to ground tie will require a lot of patience consistency and practice, just like anything with teaching horses. And you're gonna have to work on ground tying really frequently for your horse to understand what you're trying to teach them. So to teach your horse to ground tie, you're going to need a halter and a lead rope. I prefer to start teaching my horses to ground tie in a halter and a lead rope because it's a lot safer than using a bridle with a bit in their mouth. Because when you're teaching ground tying, your horse is likely going to move a lot and probably step on you know, the reins, uh, so a lead rope is a safer option because if the bit is in their mouth, that could cause some damage and could hurt them potentially. You'll also need an enclosed space to practice ground tying with your horse. And that space could be like a round pen or an arena or even your horse's paddock or pasture. That way, in case your horse were to walk off or run off, you won't have any issues getting your horse back and working on the ground tying again. And then once your horse has gotten some practice with this, you can experiment and try some ground tying maybe outside and see how that goes. Gemini and I are going to work on our ground tying in the arena behind us. I've only worked on ground tying with Gemini here for like five minutes, maybe twice. So you're going to get a really raw example of what it looks like to teach a green horse how to ground tie. You're going to start by finding a specific place where you would like your horse to stand still at. And once you've found that spot, you're going to drop the lead rope on the ground. Then you're going to give your horse both a verbal and a physical cue or command that your horse will associate with standing still. And you're going to use it every single time that you want your horse to stand still right before you walk away. You'll see me saying the word stand and also reaching my hand out like this as in a stop. I've already trained my horses to understand that the word stand is a cue that I use when I want my horses to stand still, especially before I mount them from the ground or from the mounting block. And that verbal and physical cue could be whatever cue that you want. I know that some people will also tug down on your horse's lead rope before they walk away when they're getting their horse to stand still. I just like to say the word stand and then reach my hand out like this. After I've done that, you're going to see me walk away just a few steps away from my horse. And if my horse takes a step forward and they move, I'm going to back my horse up as many steps as needed to place them in the original spot. What's going to happen is your horse is going to understand that every time that they try to take a few steps forward and move, you're going to back them up in the same spot where they were supposed to stay. And the horses will get frustrated with this and understand that every time they move, they're not going to get far because you're just going to make it harder work for them by backing them up. After you've been able to take a few steps away from your horse and your horse hasn't moved or hasn't followed you, after a few seconds, I want you to go up and pet your horse and tell them that they're doing a good job. Positive feedback is so important when training horses and there is no difference when you're teaching ground tying. After your horse is able to stand still uh, while you are standing a few steps away, then you're going to start increasing that distance in which you are moving away from your horse. Then you're going to walk further away from your horse. And if your horse starts to move, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna back them up into the original spot in which they were at, ask them to stand again and walk away. Over time, and I mean over time, like this is going to take a lot of sessions to train. Every horse is different. Some horses learn ground tying quicker than others. Others need more training on this. You're going to get to the point where you can drop your lead rope or your reins 
wherever, it doesn't matter where you're at, and you'll be able to move a far distance away from your horse without your horse moving. And once your horse has mastered this inside an enclosed space, try experimenting on training your horse to brown tie outside of an enclosed space. That way your horse will get practice and learn how to brown tie outside. Ground tying is such an important thing to teach your horse. It's so useful, it's so convenient. And when I got Gunner, my other gelding, I taught him how to ground tie within the first like few months that I owned him and it has been one of the most useful things I've ever taught that horse. There's been many a times when I've been out on trail rides and you know maybe there wasn't a place for me to tie my horse up to or maybe I was feeling a little bit lazy and I didn't want to actually tie him up and I was so glad that I had taught Gunner that because it made my life so much easier and also taught him a lot about patience. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it and if you learned something new about teaching your horse to ground tie make sure that you scroll down hit that like button and subscribe and Gemini and I will see you in the next video. Bye!